Hello everybody, this is Pastor Jonathan at East Point. We've had people ask about how can we continue to give to the ministries of our church while we are not meeting due to the COVID-19 or coronavirus. I want to walk you through a very simple way that you can continue to give. If you will go to our website, eastpointbaptistchurch.com, and remember, there's an E in the word point, you will come to our homepage. On the right side of our homepage is a button that says Give Online. If you will click that button, we're going to show you the very simple process of online giving. Here it asks, how much would you like to give? For today's purpose, we will give $50. Now it's going to ask, which fund would you like to give to? In the drop-down menu, you see that we have three options set up for you. General offering, which just gives to the general operating budget of our church. The building fund, which helps us to make repairs and upgrades to our building. And also during this Easter season, the Annie Armstrong missions offering, which goes directly to the North American Mission Board to help with missionaries in North America. So we're going to select the Annie Armstrong missions offering. Underneath that, we can go to add another fund. And we're going to do that, and we're going to give, this is our general tithe. And so for today's purpose, we will give $100. We already have selected general offering. And now we have two options of how to give. We can give once or we can give multiple times. When you select give multiple times, it gives you options of when to give. Every week, every two weeks, every month, twice a month, or every three months. We can schedule it that way if you would like. Today, we're going to give once. We select give once. We will input today's date, which is March 17th. And then we will add our email address. For today's purpose, we will use a sample email address, sample at gmail.com. For yours, you would input your own email address. Underneath, it shows the total amount given. And then we would go to the right side and click the blue continue button. Once we give, we have two options for you to give through your debit card or through your bank account. When we select bank account, you see that it has places for the routing number, account number, the billing name, and the billing address, which includes the city, state, and postal code. You can save this information for future use if you would like. For today, we're going to give using a debit card. Using the debit card, you would still input your account number, the name on the card, and the expiration date, the billing address, including the city, state, and billing code. And if you would like to save that for future use, you may do that. When you save it for future use, the next time you come in to give, all of the information is already there. Once we have done that, we will go and click the Give button. It shows that we're giving $150. This will go take you to a screen which shows that it has processed the payment through your bank. This is just a very simple way for you to give to East Point Baptist Church. You can also give through mail, or you can hand deliver your tithe to the church. Thanks very much for continuing to support the ministries here at East Point Baptist Church, and we hope to see you very soon.